This is quite interesting. We have a visit from the Prime Minister of Iraq and he met with President Trump and went over last minute issues. And then he flew back to Iraq and he's going to present the reassessment to the people tomorrow. And last Friday he said in your TV, this week we are in will be a miracle week not only for Iraq but for the entire world. So I am saying that the RV we are looking for with all the currencies will happen this week and also intend to publish the new new international rate tomorrow in the print version of the Wednesday Gazette. Keep all that in mind. They also passed the HCL law 10 or 12 days ago and they're going to start paying it to the people of Iraq. And I think that starts this month. But it is agreed upon and will also increase your social security to $4,020 per month. I will also increase in October to $4,417 in the US and the restitution payment. No RVs. We spoke to the PM in Vancouver and Geneva and they are the PM at WF so tonight at 8 p.m. M. RV reached boiling point tonight. What does that mean? This Prime Minister said that we would receive the notifications and also those from BH. From 12 to 24 hours, that is, at 8 a.m. M. But tomorrow should be our day and we get our 800s, schedule our appointments, and keep our appointments. This is what we are getting from Geneva and also from the Prime Minister of Iraq, who also asked for it for this week and if the raid appears in the Gazette after morning prayer, usually when it comes out, and I really think it is time to that the United States leaves, or even overnight. But tomorrow is the day for us. And also the BH will have access to their accounts, and for the Prime Minister of Iraq to bring that to the international level, that is new and has never been done before. I mean, why did he come to meet with President Trump and fly back to bring this to light? Have we been here before? No, not yet. I think President Sudani is calling him and I love the information from the PMs. They are also lining this up and saying the same thing and our top payers. I think that gives us everything we need. Now Bruce will move on to talk about Sue and that bundle he talked about in his segment. Now darlings, that is the best information we have ever received from a great call. I'm sure Bruce will thank his entire team. Sue, Bob, Pastor Scott. Jeannie and Larry at GCK, also all the faithful listeners around the world, and certainly praying for their calling. So join Bruce in that prayer. Now talking about the NDA, it says a page and a half in simple language, saying we'll get a Q phone and a thousand dollar certificate for a new laptop. Now I have told you everything you need to know. 5 8 minute presentation of your projects and a short version to leave them with. If you don't have projects, they will have projects they could offer you Bruce prefers to do his own projects will set up your QFS accounts and he thinks you will have a new email and password, just for that account. And moves funds from QFS to your main account and can use up to three different banks. Then WF, the main bank, will not be able to see that QFS account. So take this, they'll move funds on day one and you'll be able to move whatever you need and use for the first 90 days and then when they've kept track of what you've done. And then you'll be able to add more to those accounts and also to that 55 page booklet from people you should not finance. So make sure you read that book it will even include charities because you don't want your accounts to be frozen. Disclosure is not sure when Nisora will come out it could be this week and the release may be this weekend. So let's see what tomorrow has in store for us. And yes, Bruce will now pray for the calling a please join him a and will continue to pray with the most sincere and deepest gratitude until this miraculous blessing is finally received. Now Bruce also says that tomorrow could be a big day for us and the Prime Minister told Bruce, just give it one more day.